Hey guys, this is Krista with Inky Fairy Designs. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and the 12 Days of Creative Christmas. This is day 10 and we're going to make these absolutely adorable, quick and easy tags um, using the uh, collection by Doodlebug Inc. Doodlebug Design Inc. This is their Christmas Town collection. I believe it was released this year. I have their 6x6 pad. The thing that made this so easy and quick to do is this uh, mixed media tag die by Crafters Companion Gemini. This is a workhorse. It has a very deep edge. You can see it's made for mixed media so you can put like different thicker materials through it. But I found that I could cut like three sheets of this green cardstock and five sheets of the pattern paper at a time. So I was being able to make multiples of those tags at one swipe or one go through my Gemini Junior. So that totally made it, I mean, that was like so amazing. Loved that find in my craft room. Loving the Gemini Junior, by the way. <laughs> I also uh, picked up the odds and ends and the chit chat. That's what makes these tags so dang cute. They match this collection perfectly because it's from the same collection. And then in the 6x6 six six pad, I just wanted to show you, there's this sheet of all these cute little rectangular tags. And you could add those onto them, these tags as well. I didn't do any on this video but i plan to do some because i'm still making some last minute christmas card ta or christmas tags for our presents under the tree and um, for gifts and so i plan to use those so here i'm just laying them all out kind of deciding which side i want because they are double sided and it really doesn't matter which side cut um, you can use either side on the tag and what i like, I mean, you could use the pattern paper on its own as a tag, but it's pretty flimsy. So adding it to the cardstock really just gives it some heft and some thickness so that it it's much more sturdy as you start adding all of the just um, little embellishments and stuff to it. So I like that as well. I love my Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Glue. It's amazing. You can see I use it tons. The wrapper always falls off, but it still works great. And what I like about using a liquid glue for a project like this, and, and specifically this one, is that I have a little bit of wiggle room so I can line it up just like I want, but it will dry quickly because there's other liquid glues that I've been testing out and they just don't dry as fast as this one. And I love that this dries really um, not so fast that I can't move it around and wiggle it around, but fast enough that it's not going to lift. I can put it to the side and it's going to stick down and I don't have to worry about it lifting. So I love this glue for this project. And so I'm just adding my uh, pattern papers that I cut out exactly with the same tag die so it lines up perfectly. And this is just giving my background. So this is just giving my tags just as I would build a card um, with using pattern paper. So I have them all adhered. I have all of the pattern papers on my tags. And this is where you would want to either stamp your to and from or write your to and from, or letter your to and from like I'm doing here. I'm using, um, the pens are from, I believe, Pentel Touch Sign Pens. Oh, I love these um, for this kind of small lettering. They're probably my favorites. And I'm just lettering on the back to and from, and you could definitely use a stamp for that. I'm sure all of us, if we look in our stamp of stamp stash, we'll have a to and from in there that we could use for this. So now they're all done. I have that stamp or I have that written on the back, so I don't have to worry about that. And I, I suggest doing that before we add all the embellishments because um, while I do glue some directly onto it, we're going to use some pop dots as well. And it just makes it easier to stamp or letter when it's still nice and flat. So for the first tag, I pulled out these Doodle Pops. They're cardstock stickers. They have dimension in them already. They come two to a pack. I wish I had gotten more. <laughs> to be honest, I got these cute little snowmen that I absolutely love. And the fun thing about making these tags, they're so easy. They go so quickly. And they're so cute. 
And I'm using up the things that I got. Like I got this entire Christmas collection because, you know, my friend Jamie loves doodlebugs. She's been using them on her cards and I saw them and I thought they were so cute. And then my friend Kelly over at Seven Kids Craft Store um, had a live and was showing them and I just had to have them. And normally they would just like sit in my stash and I'd be like, yay, <laughs> I have all these cute things. But making these tags really... Um, kind, of, kind of forced me to use it and it's quick and easy like this took me not too long I sped it up a little bit so you're not watching me the longest part is really die cutting all of your tags out which that crafters companion Gemini tag took a lot of the time out of that because I was able to do multiples at once and then um, gluing the pattern paper to the tag just to give it I like to, to be sturdy you could of course skip that step if you just want the pattern paper tags um, and then I wanted uh, a little bit I wanted a little bit of dimension or just kind of a little bit of an edge uh, you can totally skip this step it's not necessary I just pulled out some archival inks that I had that kind of match the collection a little bit a pink a gray and a brown and just um, edged around the outside edges just to give a little bit of dimension and frame them out a little bit but you could totally skip that step that's not necessary but the longest part like I said was just assembling the tags like that cutting out the tags and then this part just um, kind of digging through the odds and ends and the chit chat collection from doodlebug and figuring out which ones I wanted on which tags I am totally an overthinker so that part could probably not take you as long as it did me but um, yeah, it still comes together really quickly. I did this in maybe an hour one afternoon, just did all of my die cutting, all of my assembling, and now I have them all even more than I'm showing you in this video, ready to just sit down. You could get all of that done and just sit down and watch a movie and assemble your tags. Super easy. Great for you know an afternoon <laughs> you know like the weekend before Christmas and you have all these tags you want to make because I see cute tags in the store but I don't want to buy them I want to make it myself so I'm making a couple on here for you but then I'm going to show you all 10 that I made this afternoon for you can see how they came together but uh, just so I'm showing you like two or three here and showing you my in my <laughs> inability to make decisions um and where to put that <laughs> but yeah I just add like my main focal image I uh, tape down directly to the tag and then I'll pop up all of the little elements around that I love this little um, ho 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 tag that came from the chit chats collection and um, even though it's a tag in and of itself I thought it would look cute on here kind of hanging off so I glued that down and I'm using a combination of that liquid glue and the Tombow adhesive uh, tape runner. Uh, I find those were the best for that. And then my uh, pop dots, I have no idea um, because I just pulled out from my stash. They were not in any packaging, but any pop dots you have, any dimensional tape that you have will work great for adding that bit of dimension and I apologize I didn't realize I was so zoomed in here so I got those three made and um, I think I'm going to make one more for you guys I loved this little truck and what I'm doing here I had edged this particular tag in pink and then when I picked out the blue truck I thought well I probably want to give this to one of my boys on one of their presents so I was looking for the gray um, the gray ink but I couldn't find it so I just edged it over top of that pink with brown and covered that up a bit so it's not so girly now and just like figuring out which you know where do I want it pointing and do I want to add any other little things and I decided nope I just want the little mouse on top of the truck and I thought that was cute enough so some of them you know the tags are not that very big um, so in the collection there are some larger pieces in the collection so you just kind of have to figure out which ones fit the tag best 
I ended up using this Lawn Fawn Trimmings twine to, um, you know, add that little element through the little hole. I'm showing you the dimension on that cardstock sticker, the Doodle Pops. Those are adorable. I will have to get more of those um, <laughs> next year, right next year when they have another cute Christmas collection. So these are the um, little gumdrop, little... Um, gingerbread man this one I made for my daughter she loves bunnies and she loves the color red so that stripe and that bunny um, just went well perfect with that tree this one I absolutely adopt i this one is my favorite I love that little car it reminds me of the little beetle I had um, you know prior to five kids <laughs> and it has a little um, tree on top and I um, put two little trees and behind it like it's going through from the mountains and it got its little Christmas tree <clears throat> and then I love the little reindeer that you saw me put together during the video this little snowman too I absolutely adore um, I just love that it's like looking up it's perfect on that snowflake paper I love this one's very simple it had a little um, trio of presents I put a bird on the side and then I um, have the mouse looking like he's trying to balance one more present up there I love this little polar bear but I kept this one very very simple because this was a large I'm telling you like some of the pieces are really large in the collection so that one is very simple he's just holding a little present and then um, if I could pick this one up <laughs> this is the little truck that I kept um, super simple. I love the little, um, all the little people in this collection on the pa pattern paper. And then this is the Santa. And I think they just turn out so cute. And like I said, this is a great, quick and easy way to put together some fast tags for your presents this holiday season. Um, you can use any collection you have probably already in your stash if you have pattern paper and you don't have like the little bits and pieces a lot of times they have things that you can cut out and add um, to your tags like this or you could add stamped images that you've colored and you have like a box full of stamped images all colored you could add those right on top and that'd be a really great way to make some simple tags so i hope you guys liked this video if you did please give me a thumbs up I appreciate that. I love all your comments that you're leaving during this series. Really makes my day. I am enjoying it. I know I'm behind, but it's been great to really get into my Christmas stuff and really use it up this year because so many times I just don't and I'm enjoying that and hope you're enjoying this series as well. So thank you again for uh, watching this video and if you do like it give me a thumbs up you can subscribe to my channel right here and i will put a link to the rest of the videos in this series if you've missed any and i promise i'll be back tomorrow because i don't have much time left with another video for the 12 days of crafty christmas until then stay inspired be creative and share that with others bye